Si zi mi jins tu ol. Happy New Year. Hope that you all had or having a wonderful and a blessed day. May the blessings flow and continue flowing on each and every single household in Dominica and around the world. Today, I just want to take you back into 2020 to see where we are coming from and where we are into 2021. And that just not even a quarter of what I'm going to explain to you all in terms of showing the world where we are in Dominica, where we're coming from into 2020, into 2021. And based on what I have, in just not even a quarter of the information, not even a quarter, we're just trying to show the world just how it is. And we don't make stories. We follow stories. Siri exposing follow stories. I don't make stories. So I'm just following this story. So back into 2020, we back into 2020. That is how we are entering 2021. This is how I find it's very untidy. It is heartbreaking. This is the way we in Dominica, we are entering 2021. Back into 2020, we still do not know the MOU with the Communist Party of China. We have been begging, scared, to give us an explanation of what is the MOU, what is the deal he has signed with China, and up till today, no answer, no explanation, what is the MOU, what he has signed. You are representing the people, so you can let us know what is the MOU with the Communist Party of China. We do not know. I do not know. No. We still have pity certain people. We bought houses. We have some living in Pilit Savan and we have some still out of Pilit Savan. Other villages renting on their own and they did not get a house in Bellevue. And it's strange that other people who did not get affected during Maria or Erica got houses. So we were promised after election, 100 days after, we will get ele electoral reform. And up till today, we haven't get anything. Our roads from Lubier upwards to Granby Direction are very untidy. The presently, it's very untidy. They can't give the contractors, the swipers, their contract. Because there is no fund for that. Bus drivers are still waiting for their money. They, one year now, they carry people for the Labour Party. And they could not even, some of them could even buy a gift for their children. Because they haven't get their money. The truck drivers, I understood, they are still owing some truck drivers. In 2020. Mm. Ararat's House of Culture. I understood that right now. It is on scary desk just to sign it to approve the money. So the contractors, some of them could not afford to buy a gift for the children. So things not going to get better in 2021. I want Dominicans and people around the world to know things are not going to get, get better. Because if you, as a prime minister in a country, recently take a 10 million dollars loan when one year ago you had money sharing during the election bring popcorn and other artists sharing money wasn't a problem i can remember in a speech that he told told us i think somebody in the west coast money is not a problem and one year later you're taking a 10 million dollars loan which means things are getting worse and it's not going to get better in 2021 we still do not have internet in Bagatello and we are entering 2021 which I have to do a follow up on it 
I have to address this matter again. In 2021, we still do not have internet in Bagatel. The daily stupidity seven road. Still no bridge to connect Pilit Savan to Bagatel, Pilit Savan to Delicis. There is still no bridge in 2021, which I will show the world. I have to do a follow up. The general of playing field, which he promised a home, $500,000, half a million during the campaign, and FIFA gave them 50,000 US, which they used the 50,000 US, and he never gave them even a dollar from the $500,000 which he promised. So I have to show the world a playing field which I have to do a follow-up. So during the election, he said that they're going to start the road from Blobier to Bagatelle, which was a lie because he never got the grant money from the British up till today. He did not get it. So he, it was a lie when he said that they were going to start the road from Blobier to Bagatelle because he never got the $40 million, so which was a lie. In 2014, they promised $80 million for the shelving of the Dubic Road, which is very dangerous, which I have shown it several times. In 2014, six years later, not a word, not a word, six years later, not a word. We are entering into 2021, where people are still living on the tarpaulin. Presently, people are still living on the tarpaulin, which I will do a follow-up and I will show the evidence. I want the world to know people in Dominica are still living on the tarpaulin. Because after Maria, we heard that millions, maybe billions of funds we get, and people are still living on the tarpaulin. And the evidence are there, and I will do a follow-up. 2.8 billion dollars been missing, I think, is passport money. And up till now, no explanation. So how do you want we, the citizens of, of the country, to watch you? When you are representing us, you are do, we employ you to do a job. And when we ask the question, you want to play boss. No one is higher than you. You don't want to answer any question. Where is that 2.2 million dollars? Not an explanation. What about the 80 million dollars of the promise for the TB Not Not an explanation. <coughs> so as you can see, this is just this is just a small portion. This is nothing compared to all the problems we carry into 2021. So you can see how untidy we are entering into 2021. You can see this is a tiny fracture. Oh, we are entering 2021 and things are not going to get better. Things are going to get worse because we should be inheriting, we should be living in our future because if our party is there for 20 years, we should be, we should be enjoying our future. We are, we are in the future of the party, of the 20 years we are in the future and we should be multiplying, we should be growing, our, growing in our future. 20 years later, there is no future for young people. There is no plan. There is not a factory you can see they employ 50, 40 people. The country is in a hard time. It is a very hard time, so you, you would have to know about it. And this is reality. We are not making story. We are following stories. All that is true, facts. This is how one time we are entering 2021. So tell me if it's going to get better. You might hear, they give houses left, they give houses right, two little help centers open. Yeah. But what about the people? What about the people need money to people need money? If you live in a galvanized house and you cannot pay your bills, of the little money you get in just for you to do a little shopping. Even the free you put in an apartment, it is it is worse for you, it is harder for you. Because you have more bills, you have more responsibility right now. So this is the kind of tricks they play on the people, try to brainwash the people and fool the people and have people excited. Excited over nothing. You need to create an environment to empower people, to create sustainable jobs. Not little any big job for $575 after you take off your social security or $800. Create jobs, bring up the wage, 
strengthen the people, empower the people. That is what, as a leader, that is how you have to think. You have got to think of how we're going to fool, use the people, have people excited over nothing. In my village in Bangladesh, I see people supporting the Labour Party for 20 years, 30 years. Some of them have died and could not leave anything for their family. And people must stop thinking of themselves, think of the country, because that is what they would like. You think of yourself at that time, you know, you don't think of the country. So they just enjoying themselves because they have got to think of a big project there, to build the bridge, build this. Because people look for personal interests. And when I do, when I do watch the Labour Party and the followers, they're looking for things. Things they are looking for, they're not looking for development. Because if they were looking for development for their village, for their country, they will be speaking a different language. So I'm calling Dominicans. I'm calling Dominicans overseas to help us in Dominica how all we can so that we can go our country and to put wrong where wrong is and right where right is. It's not because you get an apartment for you to say the Prime Minister is good when you really know. You know that he's been doing something wrong. That not because, you know, because you give me a plate of food and you do something wrong, I have to say, I have to spin it and say, you're right. Wrong is wrong. So this is just a piece of my message for you, Dominican, Zia and brother, and for the world. To so just understand, to see that we love our country and we want better for our, our country. And there is no future for us in our country. The country is not going anywhere. They're going anywhere. So that is why we have to continue fighting. Fighting, fight their evil works, their evil power. When to come, God is stronger than evil. Can't make, can't make somebody scared with evil. Because God is stronger. And evil don't last for long. So Dominicans, let's come together. Let's put right where right is and wrong where wrong is. Because if we were doing that, and we were asking, keeping the, our government responsible, hold them accountable, this person they call him scary will never be there today. Will never be there. Because each and every single person in this country knows that they stole the election. It was a stolen election. All the evidence are there. It was a stolen election. Yeah. So we we have to continue fighting because we love our country. And I want to reach out to all those who support and share my videos, all my fans and them. I want to thank you all for all the donations, all the contribution one way or the other. I want to thank you. May God bless you because you are supporting a good vibes. We are bringing the local story for you. We are telling you and we are showing you this is how it is in our country. We are not making stories, we are following stories. I just, I want to, I want to promote my show, the world shirt at the same time. So you can order a shirt. You can see the link in the description below. You can order your shirts, show the world. It's a means and ways so that you could donate something to Siri Exposing and the donation will go back to the people one way or the other. Because there are people we are helping in a way and they don't want to be exposed because their name on a, their, their name on a paper, maybe for a house, maybe for garbage, maybe for money. So they don't want us to expose them because they're waiting for something. So this is a kind of a trap. They build for the people in Dominica. Once your name on the list, you cannot say nothing. You get an apartment, you cannot say something, then they will take it back. This is the kind of life we live in Dominica. And this has to change. This has to change. We will not continue like that. We will continue into 2021 by showing the world we have lots of lots of things coming. We have lots of videos coming in 2021. Yeah. It's when they will see, they will know. Yeah, we have to show the world. If it's so we can get it done, we will show the world. Because the image you want to put out there, thinking everything is okay in Dominica, everything are not okay. Because I'm showing the real facts, I'm showing, I am, I bring the local news to you out there. That you will see. And a happy new year again. And be safe. Be safe. Be faithful. Be faithful. Put right where right is.
and the right wrong wrong is don't try to cover wrong because you will backfire on you you're going to destroy your temple your body is your temple may god bless you may god bless dominica